Hello everyone, welcome to this introduction video on how to connect WebEx to SpotMe Livestream. In this short video, we're going to show you how you can connect your WebEx account using RTMP to SpotMe Livestream to stream a very basic, a very basic uh, meeting without too much hassle. So let's start that right off. Uh, I have WebEx launched on my account. We're using WebEx meeting here, not WebEx event. Uh, both work. Uh, WebEx event offers a few more options like the possibility to uh, realign your speaker in a more advanced way, for example. In this case, we're using a WebEx uh, meeting that, uh, that will do the job very well. Let's uh, start my meeting. There we go. This plays it very nicely. Now, if I want to start streaming for WebEx, I need to go into the more options here. I have the option to start a live stream. You have public extended options that you might know, and then you have other streaming services where we can put uh, the link and the key uh, that uh, that we want to use in that specific case. Okay, so let's jump to uh, backstage very quickly because we want to to stream our Bex meeting to Spot Me live stream again. So if I'll go to live live stream and I'll create a new live stream, this would be my Webex direct stream push that in up 5 p.m. my time so I'm leaving everything else enabled and like usual we are going to start the preview in our live stream so that uh, spot me uh, backstage give us credentials that we can use on webex the only thing we will have to do then is simply copy copy this credential so we're going to have the link uh, an rtmp url basically here and the key a password provided by spotme that we are just going to copy paste here and that will allow us to directly stream uh, to spotme the main thing we will see then is that we will see our webex meeting directly into the preview here on the, on backstage uh, you will want to note that this obviously will give us a fairly limited layout. There won't be any branding element or any visual assets that we can add uh, because this is really WebEx. So cameras and slideshare, and that's it. Straightforward being live streamed to spot me. So obviously uh, you can't really have any la advanced layout, branding, colors, images added to that. Uh, the best way to do that, for example, would be to use a software in between WebEx and um, and and um, and SpotMe, sorry, uh, like OBS, for example, where you could capture WebEx with OBS, then you could add your design, your layout options, and everything that would enhance the experience. Uh, if you want to, if you want to do that, uh, feel free to check out our knowledge base because we have a few articles and videos as well on how to do that. Uh, it does seem our preview is ready. So this is the uh, link RTMP endpoint that I was talking about. Let's click to copy, switching to WebEx and copy here. Um, I'll just call that spot me. I don't think it matters. Uh, then we have the streaming key. I will copy here and I can start streaming. And normally you don't really have any, oh yeah, you have any feedback here. So we are live, this meeting is being streamed live to spot me destination. So it does seem this is working. Now, if we switch to backstage, we don't really see anything yet because it does take uh, 20 to 30 seconds with our uh, average uh, latency delay uh, that we have with the streaming service. So we just need to wait a couple of more seconds before seeing our WebEx meeting being live stream in spot me. It does seem it's finished. Let's just refresh to see how that actually looks like. There we go. So this is my WebEx meeting here being live streamed right now. It's put me. Obviously, I'm the only participant of the meeting and I don't have the camera enabled. So it's not really visual, uh, but I think you guys get the get the idea, right? If we had to have more speakers, we would have more cameras and we would have the slide being shared, for example, that would be visually here uh, and obviously the sound, okay? All right, I think uh, otherwise we would just need to click go live if we want this to be visible to all the user inside the web app. But right now we're just previewing that in the in the preview on backstage. So we are good. 
I think that's it. Uh, as I said, very simple, very short, very quick to do. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find this useful and uh, enjoy your next live stream. Bye bye.